Hello. In this course, we will be creating a full stack single page chat application using Vue.js as frontend and Node.js and MongoDB as backend. Make sure you have downloaded and installed Node.js and MongoDB in your system. Here are the download links. If you prefer a text based tutorial of this video, you can visit this link. So, create a new folder for our project. In this folder, we will further create two folders, one named API. In this, we will place all over Node.js and MongoDB code, and this will be our backend. Second named web, all over Vue.js code will go here. This will be our frontend. We will be using Sublime Text as code editor. Open both folders in Sublime Text. Then in your API folder, create a file named server.js. This will be our starting server file. Then open command prompt terminal in both folders separately. Move one step back. Then enter in web folder. Then in your CMD opened in API folder, run the command npm in it. This will initialize our server as npm package. Just press enter to set the default values. Type yes. Then you need to install the modules required to start the server. Run npm install. We will be using express as framework. This is helpful for creating APIs. Also it has greater support for middlewares. We will use middlewares later. HTTP will be used for starting the server at specific port and handling HTTP requests. And we will be using MongoDB as our database. By default, if you made any changes in your server files, you have to manually restart the server. But there is a module that automatically restarts the server if there is any change in server file. We can install that module using npm install minus g that will install this module globally. So you just need to install it once and you can use it in other projects as well. And no daemon. Then run non-daemon server.js. So the server has started running. You can access your API from localhost colon 3000 as the port. But right now our server.js file is empty so we do not have a server. We need to create and start the server. Open your server.js from API folder. First include the express module. And then create an instance of express and name it as app. Then you need to include the HTTP module and create server using app instance. Then include the MongoDB module. And get the Mongo client object from that module. We will need that client object for making the connection to the database. Also get the object ID from Mongo module. This is the unique ID of each document in the MongoDB. Just like SQL has tables, MongoDB has collections, and like SQL has rows, MongoDB has documents. Similarly, SQL has primary key that is unique in entire table. The object ID is unique in entire document. Then start the HTTP server at port 3000 for localhost. But when your project is in production, the port number can be set by your hosting environment. So we are using process object. It is built in Node.js property, and we will be using port object if exist. Otherwise, we will be using 3000 port and this callback is called when the server started running at environment port or at 3000. We will simply displaying a message that a server has been started. This message will be displayed in our CMD. Then we are going to connect with our MongoDB server. This will be the URL of your MongoDB server. But since we are running locally, we can use localhost and its port is 27017. Usually servers also use this port for MongoDB. Its callback will have two parameters. First will be the error if there is any and second will be the client object that holds the information about the connected server. If the connection to db fails, we will simply display a message in cmd console. Then we will call the db method from client object and pass the name of the database we wish to connect. If the database is not already exist, it will create the database once there is any document added in it. Unlike SQL, it will not throw an error data database that does not exist and set the db object as global because we will be using it in other files too and a success message so you will see this error it's okay because this is our server all our frontend work will be done in web folder 
To view the data in MongoDB, we will be using a tool called MongoDB Compass. You can download it from this link. You can connect to the server. And here are all my databases on this localhost server. And our database MEVN chat app will be created once we add any document in it. We will add it in our registration step. So in next tutorial, we will create our Vue.js single page application and run our front end app.